also trying to think about those students that are in the more electronica world, they're using the DAWs that might be using GarageBand or Logic, or in this case, you're going to see um, Studio One. And the reason for bringing this up is because you know we, we've always had a slight divide, this disconnect between the notation software and the DAW. What I have here is a project that, um, of course, I, 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 uh, I recorded. It's my song, I'm Down With The Kids. So someone might come to me and say, okay, can you um, add some horn parts, some string parts to that, please? And I go, okay. And they might, um, I might want to then attach the audio into my Notion score. So what I can do from Studio One is um, send to Notion. And I have some options here. I can send this project over to Notion either on this computer or anywhere on the network. I can choose to send what I'm going to send it. So in this case, I'm going to send the audio and press Send. And that's going to now just basically bounce what you've just heard as an audio file. I'm going to package it all up and then magically send it over to Notion, where it's going to attach that audio file that it's made into a brand new score. I've just talked slow enough for that to happen. <laughs> and so here's, here it's set up a new project. Now this, little, this, is, this text here is the actual name of the audio file. And anywhere I click here, um, I can actually um, hear the audio coming through. So that's great for transcription, so I can add my horns and strings to this and do my arrangement. It's also sent the tempo track across as well, which is brilliant. So, so that's Notion playing that audio file, and I can add, my, add the instruments I wanted to do, strings, etc., and do my arrangement. But that original song already had some um, instrument notes, some MIDI, already in there. So I want to take, grab this information here, which I found, violins, violas, and cellos on the left here. I want to send that data over to Notion so I can make a better start on my arrangement. So to do that, I sent a Notion again, send note data of those tracks. I want to add it now into the document I've already made. So that's now sent and added all that note information. It's also set up all the instruments with the right clefs and transpositions if appropriate. And I can start cleaning this up and then just getting my notation out. So I can make some changes, which is great, and then print my parts. But I've made a change there, which has not been changed back in the score. But what I can do is just keep throwing data backwards and forwards and updating these documents. So I can send the notes back to Studio One. And now that's updated those changes. And I can keep going and throwing data backwards and forwards between Studio One and Notion, updating each document and each project as I go. That's a very brief overview, and that, was, that might have just thrown a lot of stuff at you, but I will be here the rest of the day, sat in the booth upstairs. Um, so I just wanted to give you a few key ways why Notion is different from other notation software, and how we are sort of getting students and using notation software in very different ways. Now what I'm going to do now is just give you the overview of the site license, because we've, we've made it very easy for schools to pick this up. You can now put it. Notion and Studio One on every single computer in your school, whether you have 200, 20 computers, 2,000 computers. Um, I basically went around and asked people what annoyed them about other site licenses for music software, and we just made sure we didn't do that. So there's no subscriptions, there's no licensing dongles to lose, we don't charge for tech support, and there's no charge for maintenance updates. There's no hassle having to increase the number of seats if you get another computer. We don't mind how many computers you have. It's cross-platform, it's Mac and Windows, as I mentioned before, we have all these resources in our education website. We do support instrumental teaching services with these licenses. And we have all the integration between our hardware and our software. You can't buy the PreSonus site license from us direct. You must go to your uh, local expert dealers, and we're here at the Conference of Music Ednet, and they can help you out. Um, and the prices for these unlimited licenses in the right-hand column here. So you could put Notion 6 on every single one of your computers at school for $1,600, no matter how many computers you have. So that means you could put Notion in the libraries, in the common areas, wherever you want to put it. Um, it just means that wherever the kid wants to compose, they can get to computer and have Notion on. You're not worried about, oh, we've got 22 computers, and 21 of them are already in use, and you don't have to worry about it. Studio One Pro is just under $4,000, and then the bundle together saves about 20%, and it's just under $4,500 to put a professional-grade DAW and Notion 6 on every single computer 
in your school. Now, of course, these things are available separately. Notion 6 for a single user, about $220, $230. Studio One Pro, you get an education discount, is two, it's about $300. And Notion on iPad is $22. I will send you this if you drop us your details at the end of the session, don't worry. Um, but come and talk to us afterwards. <laughs>